I'm not, I'm not currently deriving any income from that. Uh, Steve, you said you had a personal connection or a tie to the breast cancer issue. Yeah. Can you tell a little bit more about that? Well, you know, I think I probably told folks about it and uh, when I was running against Amy Klobuchar, I don't know. At that time, it was still in the courts. Uh, in 2013, uh, my wife uh, was diagnosed uh, in this wonderful program called SAGE. And uh, I knew about that because I worked at the American Cancer Society for uh, over a year uh, with the navigators. And I actually uh, collected information on these types of resources and put them up on uh, cancer.org. And so when it came in the mail and I had been talking to my wife, I said, let's use that. And thank God we did because we went down there and she was uh, positive. And uh, we we ran into a wonderful surgeon named Dr. Hope. You can't get much better than that. He was great. And it was uh, it was real, uh, it's, a time, it's kind of a change in your life, you know, when that happens. Other things don't seem so important. Um, however, beginning in 2014, the local welfare office started contacting us and telling her that she was removed from the program. Of course, she was still in treatment. And that continued in 2015. Then in 2016, they, they cut it off. So we actually uh, appealed that. We appealed each time, actually. And after the appeal went to the courts, and that actually just finished at the U.S. Supreme Court on June 15th. It's called uh, Victoria Carlson et Veer. Uh, that's me. They, 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 they kind of tried to get a role for me in the case. Let me tell you this, though. They were charging both of us to pay our way down to 20% below poverty level. So poorer than the people who can go down and get cash assistance off the street, which we can't. And we had to pay that in medical bills before we got another uh, dime from them. And uh, the uh, Department of Human Services found that it effectively barred her from receiving any money. And she has been barred from that. And the really bad thing about this is because of that, she's had to go out and work. And of course, in the COVID environment, that's a major risk. And we're forcing women to go out and work to pay for their medical care in a program which a state has an obligation to uh, pay uh, their match and use the federal money to help the woman to complete her treatment. If you look at both the federal and the state law, although there's these initial requirements, uh, as I mentioned, uh, it, there, there's a limitations period which says it ends when the woman uh, either re doesn't require or isn't receiving treatment. So the last one is a state law, and the federal law says that you don't require it anymore. So uh, do you have any other questions about